Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Julie, and it occurred to me the other day that I haven't done a Saturday Smiley since I decided not to do structured videos anymore, which, from everything I've heard, is a bad idea. So I've been researching it myself to see what, uh, you know, what things to do to make my channel the best that it can be and to gain, you know, viewers. And it says on there one of the main points is structure. <laughs> Yeah, everything that my channel is not. Structure. People want to know that, you know, they're, they're going to come home on a Thursday and know that there's a video from you there. Or So I think I might start doing that again, but not, you know, like five, four or five uploads a week because now that spring's coming on, we've been turning down a lot of uh, prom and stuff coming up. I'm working myself too much, basically. So I'm going to start devoting a little bit more energy to my YouTube so that it's not so sporadic and hey I'll see you the next time I upload a video because I want this to be successful and to do that I'm going to follow the tips and tricks that I see and read about and one of those is being a little bit more structured, okay? Well, let's get on to what and another one is not rambling and staying at the point at hand. That is going to be my worst thing. I'm going to try and Anyways, let's get started. What I've really been loving, and I might have mentioned these in a past video, but I did not... I'm keeping a log now so that I write down everything that I've mentioned in whatever videos, but I, I looked through that log, and these were not in it, so I don't know if I had mentioned them before that log or not, but even if they are, and I've said them before, they still deserve to be mentioned again. The Elf Conditioning Lip Balms. I love, love these products. These are their conditioning balm. They cost $3. They come in three different sizes, or uh, five different colors. These are almost eight grams of product. There is an enormous amount of product in these tubs. And look at how big the tubs are. I mean, it's not nothing that you can just carry in your pocket. It's definitely a purse keeper. The pigmentation on these is fabulous. It's more than a wash of color, but it's not a full out, you know, bam in your face. I use these every time I'm wearing one of those City Color Matte Lipsticks because I really do like those. I just don't like how they make my lips feel like, you know, they're two dry bones clack, clack, clacking together, you know. I mean, they're just horrible. So I will put, when I first start to put my makeup on, I will pick whatever color is going to go best with what I'm using. And I will put this on first. And I'll wear that until, uh, let me wipe my lips off here. And I'll wear that until I put my lipstick on. And they are just gorgeous. The conditioning aspect of these is wonderful. They smell uh, like, they smell like coconut and cocoa mixed. That's what they smell like, like a chocolate coconut almond joy. That's what they smell like, an almond joy. Yeah, they smell like an almond joy. <laughs> Does it get any better than that? And this one here is called Mellow Melon. Mellow Melon. And it's just a beautiful coral of the bunch. It's my favorite. I love them so much. And then this one here is just naturally nude. And I use this one a lot too. I wear this one around the house all the time. And yes, I'm a freak. I even wear my lip color around the house. That one's this one right here. Gorgeous, gorgeous products. I absolutely love these. And I'm not going to say it anymore because I've said it enough. This one is uh, Romantic Rouge, and this is the deepest one of the bunch, the, uh, there you go, and this is the red one, the deepest color of the whole lot. And these, you know, that's just swatched on the back of my hand, you can see it shears right out, I mean, you don't, it's, they're just beautiful, it's like your lips but better, truly, that's, that's totally what these are as far as the color goes, and the moisturizing is spot on, they're just really good product. Three bucks. And you know, Elfas always have 50% off sales, so really, you almost can say that these are a buck fifty. And then the ones, there's two more. One is Blissful Berry, and it is a kind of a plummy color. And the other one is Peaceful Pink, yeah, Peaceful Pink. And it's the pink in the bunch. So, check these out. Okay, anyways. Uh, another lip product. Emily Noel was telling us all about the Neutrogena Lip Balms, and I showed these in a... A short little stuff that I got, you know, I didn't want to call it a haul, but it was. It was your, not you, nothing I bought from IMATS haul. I've been loving these. These are really good. I have discovered that they all have a little bit of an undertony, papaya, peachy smell to them, and I don't like that, but these are so moisturizing. They have wonderful pigmentation, just a wash of color, just very natural. 
uh, nude, you know, type of color and very moisturizing. I really, really like these. So thank you for that, Emily. I appreciate it. Okay. City Color Cosmetics. I know that I talked enough about these in my one video, but I've been loving these three products so much, I they just deserve to mention. Uh, the, the, the slightest gold, I, I wouldn't say shimmer. It's not a shimmer. It's kind of a gold highlight to it, but it's barely detectable. The slightest gold color to it, and it just, for my skin tone, it works so beautiful it bronzing up my face and it's what I'm wearing today it's just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous out in sunlight there's no you know weird twilight stuff going on it's just so pretty and this is the mosaic blush in bronze glow really it is essentially it's almost matte except for that that slight slight you know pearlescent um, gold colors just beautiful and then the B Matte Blush in Papaya, and I do have, I don't know why they haven't came yet, but I have ordered the rest of these B Matte Blushes. If any of you out there really love a good matte blush, you've got to pick these up from City Color Cosmetics. They're only $2.99, as well as this one, and they are excellent. They, the pigmentation is wonderful. They go on the cheek nicely. They sit nice all day. They last. They don't travel. They're, they're just beautiful, beautiful blushes. I don't know how the rest of the line was, you know, for the most part, but these are beautiful. And there is, yeah, there it is. There's the papaya, and I just love, love this blush. It's what I'm wearing now as well. And on top of that, I have just a little dusting of the sweet pea. And these are the rosy cheeks. Now, again, $2.99. This is also matte. And I've just been loving this combination. Look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Just picture that, you know, frame in your face and a little bit of contour and, and then that on your cheeks with a little bit of that on top. It's just a really beautiful, beautiful, just gorgeous product. And I also have some more of these coming because I love them. Okay. Okie dokie. And then I've got two more loves, and I was going to talk to you about two of the products that I got in the test tube, but I will wait and talk to you about, you know, like a revisit the test tube and what was good and what I might not have cared for, so I'll wait on that. Last makeup product is, um, the other day on Hope Look, they had Stila, and they had these Stunning in Seattle, and then they had uh, something in San Francisco, maybe it was Soft softly swept or I don't know in San Francisco I, I picked up one of both by the time I got there these were the only two there these might have been the only two travel palettes but these were only ten dollars which I think is a fantastic deal nice hard you know nice hard cardboard and then inside you have a nice big mirror right there and then you have a cream blush and four shades and this one here, and there's nothing on these that tell you, like, the color of anything. Yeah, there's no, which is kind of, I don't know, cheap, ain't it? <laughs> I think it's kind of cheap. They should have put the names of the, okay, there's the color of the cream blush, which, you know what, and I noticed this when I was pulling all this out. It is like the, the cream version of this papaya that <laughs> I like so much, the, um, matte blush that I just showed you is right there. It also is, uh, it looks almost exactly like um, uh, Elf's Turks and Caicos um, cream, you know the cream palette they have that's Turks and Caicos? This looks very much like that. And then these are the colors. Let me get these on my hand for you real quick. There is a metallic pink, a metallic silver, and the metallic silver is really, really metallic. And then there is a matte purple that is almost identical to the matte purple in the Be Magnificent palette from Tarte. Those are the colors that come in the palette. So there's the blush and there's the, the eyeshadows. I love it. I've been using it almost nonstop all week except for today. But I love, love, love the colors, the textures, the, the formulas of you know both of the products in here are fantastic even the metallic shades usually metallics have some pretty good fallout to them and these don't so I actually these are the only Stila shadows that I own I own a few 
Uh, I don't own a whole lot of Stila. I don't. I look for them on Hotlook all the time, but I don't own a whole lot of Stila. So I was really happy. This was kind of a, a trial run to see how I like the brand, and I really love it, which is not good because now I'm like, you know, just aching to go down to Ulta every day and shop Stila because the shadows are gorgeous. I love it. And I love that cream blush, too. So I'm really glad I got it. Anyways, I got a, a one that was centered around San Francisco, and I sent that one off to Lynette McGee in a goodie box that I sent her. Hopefully she will have gotten that by the time this video goes up so that I didn't just ruin that for her. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. And the other one had a uh, very similar blush but a little bit pinker. And then neutrals. It was a neutral eye, like a deep brown, a, a cream color. And so, yeah. Okay. Fun food item for you today. Pickled asparagus spears. Oh, my gosh. I love these things. These are the Princess brand pickled asparagus spears, and I get these at Costco. Get them at Costco. They've got uh, pickled bulbs of garlic in there, and as soon as I get these home, they come in a double pack for like $6.99, $7.99. As soon as I get it home, I crack it open and put like three whole bulbs of garlic in there because they've already got it in there, but it, and that garlic is so good you guys and it soaks up the pickle juice you know and you got pickled garlic and it's so wonderful these are one of my favorite brands of pickled asparagus which I love all pickle I can't I don't think I've ever tried a pickled asparagus I didn't like but these ones are really good why didn't somebody tell me that I had a a ridge of <laughs> I'm not gonna remake this video we'll just chalk it up as giving you all a good laugh because just now when I stopped and finished that piece of asparagus, I look in the mirror and I've got this ridge of that lip balm from me yapping and talking. Okay, anyways, I'm going to have a good laugh on that. Here are my two stinkers. Do not get these at any cost. For many of you, now keep in mind you guys, this is just my opinion. It For me, this did not work at all, And but it because of the fact that they are such a best-selling brand, obviously it's working for somebody, but it did not work for me. In the test tube, the Full of Promise from Philosophy came. No, wait a minute. Was it in the test tube? I'm not sure if it was in the test tube or not. I think it was in the little travel case of the test tube. I believe. But anyways, I really do not like this. I feel like I am spreading toothpaste on my face. It's really horrible. It's thick and heavy and you know this might work really good for for a uh, really really dry person. I don't know but I did not like that at all. I wash my face right before I go to bed and then I'll wait for the moisturizer to sink in a little bit so that I don't lay down on my pillow. It's tacky you know and it just never really sunk in. It was just gross. Ew. So yeah I didn't like that at all. Also where was I at the other day? CVS. I was at CVS. No, Walgreens. And I'm always picking up little odd, uh, you know, odd brushes that I see here and there just to see how good the line is. Because I tell you, the uh, Target brand of Up and Up brushes, every one of those that I have ran across and gotten, I have loved. I picked these up at Walgreens the other day. They are the Posh brand. And before they went on clearance, luckily I got these on clearance, but before they did, they were like three and a half dollars for a travel, a kind of a travel size, uh, you know, eyeshadow brush, but I got it because I like that, you know, the blue, these things are like grabbing a piece of straw off the ground and trying to put your, horrible, oh, horrible, they're so bad I won't even use them for my masks, they're just horrible, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this one here, um, I might throw it in one of my giveaway boxes as a gag gift, <laughs> here's the best brush you've ever used, go ahead, give it a try, so anyways, uh, that is it, you guys. I love you all so much. I'm going to try to start getting back on track a little bit. And you guys, what you want? You need to send your friends my way. I have got some good news coming up. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here. I, I hope that I convey my appreciation enough to you guys. But if not, watch for the videos coming up. And you'll see how much I appreciate you. Okay. Bye, you guys.